yes yes a lot has changed since the last time i made a youtube video honestly um i wanted to do this video to kind of like reintroduce myself and you know just give you the tea on what's been going on with me and we're gonna have some like a grown woman conversation while um i do my makeup so if you're ready come on and tune in Hey y'all, it's your girl Yasmin. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you're wondering and you're looking around like, hmm, there's something different going on here. Yes, yes, a lot has changed since the last time I made a YouTube video. Honestly, I wanted to do this video to kind of like reintroduce myself and, you know, just give you the tea on what's been going on with me and we're going to have some, like, a grown woman conversation while um, I do my makeup. So if you're ready, come on and tune in. So y'all, how have y'all been? How, how, how have y'all been doing? Cause you know, we, it's, we in 2022. Um, I haven't made a video in, I wanna say, I don't even know how long. I don't, I don't even know how long. I'ma check when I'm done recording this. But it's been a minute and I'm going to say before when I started making YouTube videos, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. I really didn't know what I wanted to talk about. I was in a season of where I was a marketing consultant. I was running my own marketing agency, which I'm not going to say was because I still am. I'm just not taking any clients right now. Um, only, you know, past clients. Um, but right now, you know, a lot has changed, y'all. A lot has changed for me. So much has changed. Um, so first things first, I got a baby, y'all. <laughs> I have a son. Oh my gosh, yes. His name is um, Zachariah, and I had him on 8-8-21. So he is a COVID baby. Yes. Um, and what else? But yeah, I have a son, y'all. I've gotten married. Um, like we eloped. Didn't tell nobody. It was just between me and him. Um, and that then, you know, just I have a new career. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm an esthetician now. I went to esthetician school while I was pregnant. I'm supposed to be doing my makeup and I ain't, all I did was prime y'all. What am I doing? But yeah, I went to esthetician school and <clears throat> um, went to esthetician school. Look, I don't forgot. I lost my train of thought. Um, I went to esthetician school while I was pregnant. Um, what made me switch you know a lot of people have been asking me like what made you go from being a marketing consultant doing pr you know running that agency and now being an institution and to be honest y'all when i found out that i was pregnant with my son that made me make like that made me reconsider everything that I wanted to do in life. Like, it made me stop thinking about myself and start thinking about, you know, what's going on with my future. Like, what what are the intentions? Like, do, can you really see yourself doing this for, you know, the rest of your life, life or, you know, figuring out what it is I really wanted to do. Um, and, you know, like, um... 28 I was 28 at the time um so yeah like what is you doing what's the, what what is what your 30s look, is gonna look like and I prayed about it I asked God for guidance like because I was really unhappy marketing had became like super stressful um I wasn't happy it wasn't fun anymore you know when the job is in no is no longer fun then that's definitely like a issue so 
uh, it just really made me do some soul searching. And what I end up doing was uh, at the time I had a client. Um, her name's Danielle, well, Makeup Craze Beauty. And she's an esthetician. Uh, she's an amazing esthetician, makeup artist. She does so many great things, y'all. And um, I had her as a client. She introduced me into to like the beauty industry and all the different things that you could do in the beauty industry. And I've always like loved makeup. I've always um, loved beauty, skincare. Um, you know, like, I just never knew the opportunities that was available to me in that industry. I never knew that I could, like, really have a full-blown career as a makeup artist, you know, as a skin therapist, being able to, like, you know, just do all these different things. And she opened my eyes to it. Um, I checked out the qualifications to see, like, how long it was going to take me to uh, go to school. And the qualifications in Florida is really like, I ain't even gonna lie, they're a joke. They're a whole joke. Um, it was like, what, I had to do 300 hours? And um, that's like, what, I only had to go to school for like three months. Three months. I ain't miss no days. <laughs> no days off. I went every day. So I literally graduated within three months. And from there... You know, when I graduated, I was seven months pregnant. Um, it, at the time, looking for a job was just, it just didn't make any sense. Um, because I was going to train, and then right after that, I was going to be on maternity leave. And it's like, you know, as you're going to hold my spot, I'm going to already be new. Like, it, it just didn't make sense. So, I just dived in head first to start in a um my own beauty business so um be magnificent beauty is the name of my studio and i do body waxing limited body waxing y'all so like underarms full face chest none of the intimate areas um i do brows y'all i got a product dropping soon um, I do brows, I do makeup, and, um, I do skin. So, if you're having problems with your skin, need some skincare advice, um, come and see me. We can, you know, educate you on your skin and what you can do to help improve your skin. And even if you don't need improvement, if you just want relaxation, you know, have a day at the spa, let's make it happen. But yeah, so, <laughs> shameless plug, shameless plug. Um, but yeah, so all of that happened and it's just been, it's been a journey. That's all I can say. It's been a real journey. Um, I am getting ready. So that's all, all, all the updates that I'm going to do for now. Um, but yeah, y'all, so right now i'm getting ready to attend black expos what is it called black expos block party is it a block no i know it's a kickoff party i'm sorry um i'm attending black expos kickoff party for the black expo it's an invite only event so y'all will be seeing this video after it happened of course um yeah super excited so y'all for to watch me beat this face so that's really all the updates um like i said a lot has happened and you know navigating these new changes in life it's really has been you know eye-opening for me like i never knew how strong i was until i came into these roles and then in addition to that being an entrepreneur and having my own you know just having my own itch going on it's like what was a lot um but I'm definitely 
looking forward to the journey and just being in the moment so that's kind of why I'm like back with my recording YouTube videos because that's something that I did enjoy doing but I just you know when I got pregnant I just kind of I ain't gonna say I shut down that wasn't my intention but I guess I kind of did only share on the platforms that I was most comfortable sharing on and YouTube just wasn't that so yeah my bad y'all <laughs> but I'm back um my goal is to be more consistent I'm gonna be dropping content about beauty of course um what else beauty entrepreneurship um what else you know lifestyle stuff like that and anything that y'all want me to talk about we can we can do that so i'm just gonna let the rest of this video um play of me doing this makeup um and i'm going to pop back in once it's all done all right okay guys so i totally lied i'm actually going to walk you through the steps of this makeup that i'm doing so right now i'm setting my eyes um i placed concealer under my eyes because i'm prepping them and getting them ready to put eyeshadow on them so right now what i'm doing is going back over the top of my brow um, to really help shape them and then i'm using a concealer that is closer to my skin tone now i'm going in with my Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place palette and I'm using the color Bur Burkiana, Burkina, I'm not sure how to say it. Um, and it's close to my skin tone so that's why I like using it. Uh, and now I'm doing my eyelids. I went in with my Sahara and Juv Juvia's Place um, palette and I'm using that color Senegal. And I'm just going in with that. And then I'm also going to go in with a darker color on the back. And that, that's actually going to be the Chad color in the Sahara and Badrivia's Place palette um, to give my eye more depth. Uh, I did want it to look uh, natural. So um, I didn't want to do too much as far as like a cut crease. I didn't want to do that. I kind of just wanted to um, make sure everything is blended and looks, you know, like I'm glowing, right? Um, now I'm going in with my foundation. I mix two shades. Um, I use NARS and a MAC um, foundation, and I just mix them two together to get my ideal shade. Here's a pro tip for makeup. Um, when applying your foundation, make sure that you are pressing it into your skin because you want your skin to absorb the makeup that makes it um, look more natural and have that natural finish i know before i took a makeup class i used to just um literally like just paint the foundation onto my face instead of like pressing it in and now it makes sense of why people call it like you're beating your face because you really are beating that foundation into your skin um, in addition to that, I'm using concealer, um, Too Faced concealer. I really, really love using this concealer because it is full coverage and it just really glides onto the skin and melts into the skin, um, really creating that highlight effect that you're looking for, especially for us chocolate girls. Now I'm setting my concealer. Um, I use two different shades of powder. I like to use a translucent powder in the corners of my eyes because I want those areas to be a little bit brighter than others. And then um, I go in with um, Laura Mercier uh, Honey, translucent honey powder um, everywhere else on my face.
Now let's get into this contour, honey, okay? I don't usually contour my face with the powder, the setting powder still on, um, but this time, you know, I, I just did it, um, and we're gonna see how it comes out. Actually, I contour my face with my foundation, to be honest. <laughs> um, I use the same color foundation. Um, right now, I'm going in with, uh, I'm lining the side of my face. I don't usually do this either. I always like switch up how I apply my makeup based on like my mood. So um, I want it to look a little more chiseled than usual. So I, that's why I put that line on the side of my face um, with the setting powder um, to give it that, you know, that, that high cheekbone look. Okay, so now I'm going in with my favorite blush. It's by MAC and it's called Fever. Okay guys, so now I'm going in with my favorite highlighter by Fenty Beauty in the color Moscow Mule. It really gives that um, pink, like um, tint glow to you. Um, I'm a huge fan of rose gold, so it, that's what it gives me. It gives me that rose gold glowy vibes. Now I'm going back over my brows with my signature brow gel um, that will be dropping next month. So it'll be dropping in May. So whenever you see this video, you know, it'll be available for you to purchase. Um, but I'm going back in with my brow gel and what it's doing is it's freezing my brow hairs in place so that they won't move. It's giving my um, make up a more natural look because it looks like you know my brows are more full and you can actually like really see the details in the hairs now I'm lining my lips with the Ruby Roo lip pencil by MAC and I'm preparing to apply the Fenty Beauty Liquid Matte Lip in the color Uncensored. And as you can see, this color looks amazing on us chocolate girls. It really pops. I love, love, love it, especially 
um, if you are just a red lip wearer, you love red lips, you're going to adore this color. Now, once I get these lashes on, honey, it is over. You know, I love when the look comes together. Once the lashes go on, it's like, honey, the look is complete. I know sometimes I put lashes on like right after I finish my eyes and eat like before foundation. But this particular time I put them on last. And as you can see, like it just brings the whole look together. It's giving bossy it's giving you know perfect red full lip it's giving you could and you wish you would okay so thanks for checking out my video guys make sure you subscribe share like comment give me ideas for next time and i really appreciate y'all watching i will catch y'all later and have a beautiful 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 rest of your day